Welcome everybody into this new WordPress tutorial in this video. What I'm going to be actually um, be showing you today is how to add a custom booking uh, section into your website whether you have a paid option, a paid plan or you're using a free plan. So both are totally okay, both are totally fine, but I think that in my case, if you have a plan already paid into the WordPress, things are going to be much more easier and going to be looking really, really awesome. But that totally depends on you. But uh, just in case you don't don't have an account, you don't have actually anything into WordPress, I'm going to be leaving you guys a link down below in the description, and you might be getting a few rewards just by signing up. So once you create your account, once you sign up, once you create your first website without having to customize that because we don't want to focus into the customization today. I just want to focus into the main booking application. What I want to do is to start from scratch. So here I am into my home section. Here it says update your site this side. I want to go into edit site. So once we are in here, it's going to appear in the editor side of WordPress. So what I can do is to add my section. As you can see, I do have a template that I that I created. So there are a few things that I can delete if I want to. Once again, I'm not going to be focusing into the design. I'm just going to be focusing into the main tool, which is going to be the booking. So here, what I want to do is to go into the three dots. First of all, in my case, I want to remove this because I don't want to see this anymore. I'm going to choose this option and remove this slideshow. So I just want to focus into the things that really matters. So first of all, I'm going to get into the plus section. So here I can see the block inserter of patterns and blocks. So I want to go into the search bar and look for booking. So I do have the appointment form, add an appointment booking form to your page. And I do have the open table. Now here into the open table, I do have the allow visitors to book a reservation with open table. This is specifically for restaurants um, and some kind of marketing stuff here. But I do want to focus into different forms. For example, you get into appointment forms. And here, as you can see, I do have the name, the email, the phone, the date, the time, and notes requirements. So all the book appointment has been added automatically. Now, this is an interesting part. If I do want to focus into what kind of fields I want to create, I want to edit my own uh, custom fields, I want to choose into these three dots. And here, I want to choose for create a template part, or I can strongly suggest it to go for the show more settings. So here into the show more settings, I do have some view form responses the title of the form. So I want to change the title of the form for, uh, let's say, for example, recruit, recruiting your talent here, something like that. Submission settings on submission, show a summary submitted fields, message heading, your message has been sent, email connection, email address to send to. This is the email that we want to provide. So we want to receive all the information that was sent from the field sources of the forms into us, into the booking option, of course. And here's the email subject line, the color, the dimensions. And if I go into the advanced, we can just separate the classes with spaces, but I want to focus into the X button once again, so I can show you something else that we can do. If you want to book an apartment here, you can go in here. Now, what I want to go is into the plus button once again, go into the blocks and once again, look for booking. Oops, like this booking. So if I don't see anything available, I can go into the patterns. Now, if I scroll with different, let's say for example, APP, I do have the context with app, send us a message, contact with a WhatsApp. I can add the WhatsApp here. So send us a message on WhatsApp. So it's really great to have the WhatsApp application. So what people can do is to just go right away into our WhatsApp and they can just schedule their own booking into the WhatsApp. Now, if you are not good with these options, if you are not good with this notes booking appointment that I just showed you, there's another way that we can do this. So I want to go into the X section. I want to go back into my dashboard 
and by default I do not want to save what I just did here but if you already have created something that you do love to create or I mean you like into your website please save that and then you can go back into your dashboard so here I'm gonna hit into leave now I'm gonna go ahead and look for the plugin section which is actually in here and here into the plugins this is like for example like a application store of Shopify or whatever other website creator so this one has been called plugins I'm not pretty sure why so here into the try searching e-commerce I want to look for uh, some keyword for example appointment so here I do have the WooCommerce booking the start booking the easy appointments and as you can see I do have different options where I can create my own booking using applications that were created by users from WordPress or even from the same WordPress I want to look for let's say for example business and I can just look for in a specific tool but let's say that I want to add these easy appointments and I'm going to hit into continue but as you can see the easy appointment appears only if you upgrade your account so if I do select the option that says upgrade I do need to have a plan uh, like a premium plan from WordPress in order to have access to all the tools to all the applications that appears into my plugin section so here's the order here's the building section and everything should be used right away so once again guys there is if you don't want to pay absolutely for anything if you think like this is not worthy for you or you are just getting started and you don't have enough money to afford this kind of plugins into your website you don't have to worry about that we can do more things than that and for that if I go into my site once again go into edit site I can look for specific tools and specific plugins that are totally for free that I can add into my store so if there's not an option for adding some booking into your website then try to look for an alternate version for example go into the plus button go into the contact form and here into the contact information you want to choose for example a point form and instead of morning let's go for 7 a.m. 7.30 a.m. let's go for 8.30 a.m. let's go for 9.30 a.m. if you don't want to add something really easy like that to basic let's say that we can do exactly the same thing I can go into the WhatsApp I can have the contact of the WhatsApp and I can add this into my website so what I'm doing here is to add stuff what with what I do have available without having to pay more than that so in my point of experience I do believe that you don't have to pay a lot of things if you're just getting started if you already have an account if you have money to afford if you want to do things like true professional and you have started already then you can just go ahead and download some application have a planned premium account but if you don't have any amount of money and you're just getting started why do you have to get stressed by by saying oh man because I just need this you want to do so you can save that money and pay for all the things that are much more valuable this is like just my point of view but as you can see guys it was a really easy tutorial it was really basic all the patterns that are using here as you can see there are so much more things without having to pay absolutely anything so don't be stressed about trying to pay for an application a plugin that you cannot afford look for what you do have here into your wordpress plugins that are for free and do your magic guys so hopefully it was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more information about the wordpress and the plugin store thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully i will see you guys in the next one